Traffic deaths in Portland have continued to rise, and in 2023, we saw the most deaths in over three decades. Peabot says speed is a factor in more than half of these crashes and hopes a new pilot program called Rest on Red can make a difference. These are early days for this technology, but we're really excited about what it could mean for the city. Here's how it works. Traffic signals in certain intersections would be upgraded to include microwave sensors. That sensor would be able to detect how fast cars are going and could act if vehicles are moving too fast. If a car is going above the speed limit, it will be able to change the traffic signal into a red light to stop vehicles from speeding through that, or in theory, stop a vehicle from being able to speed through that intersection. Another change Peabot is looking at is to have all red lights at some intersections at certain times of night, forcing drivers to completely stop. A sensor would then trigger a green light when vehicles are waiting. The goal of this is to reduce speeding on long corridors. We see a lot of speeding in the nighttime hours. The roads are generally more empty. It feels like an opportunity for people to do what they want to do. And by doing these, making these changes to the traffic signals, we can signal to the people that are out there that that is not acceptable. Peabot is working with ODOT to upgrade the traffic signals on Southeast Pal between 21st and 33rd to implement Rest on Red. There are nearly 1,000 intersections in the city and upgrading thousands of signals will take time. But Peabot hopes that the technology will eventually be spread across the city. There's just tons of benefits. Uh, the technology is changing rapidly and making it so that we can do a lot more with our traffic signals to manage traffic efficiently and also make traffic move more safely. In Portland, John Adams, KGW News.